In stats I use 255 points in MTL since this provides 75% of ailment resist and in this way I only need 25% of this resistance in the equipment and avatars for 100% resistance to ailments, the rest in VIT to increase the HP. I use these star gems to save some skill points. Hard hit, inflicts flinch to the target. Heavy armor mastery, increases guard recharge by 10%. I sometimes swap this star gem for sonic blade if I need to quickly get close to the target. Furs aid, to help allies revive faster by reducing their revive time by 50%. Shield mastery, removes the attack speed penalty when using shield. Protection. Buff that increases physical resistance by 30% but reduces magic resistance by 15%. Knight Stance. Buff that increases VIT by 10, aggro by 30% and reduces fractional damage taken by 10%. Quick Aura. Consumes 15% of our max HP to increase ASPD by 500 plus 25%. War Cry. Increases allies' attack by 10% and removes the fear ailment. Berserk. Increases our critical rate by 25 and ASPD by 1000 plus 100% but reduces physical and magical defenses by 45%, the defenses, not resistance, as long as do not fall to negative numbers, it is not a problem. Gladiate. Gives us a buff with 10 stacks that reduce the damage received by 10% and recovers MP when we receive damage depending on the amount of AMPR we have. Finale, I use it to close short combos. Power Wave, allows us to attack from 10 meters. HP Boost, passive that increases max HP by 1000 plus 20% and MP Boost increases max MP by 300. Shield Cannon, to inflict stun to the target. Force Shield and Magical Shield are physical and magical resistance passives. Dual Shields, Automatically uses guard to reduce damage taken but does not cover certain attacks such as meteor or spikes. Aegis, increases magic resist by 30% but reduces physical by 15%. Guardian, increases guard recharge by 15% and passively generates 50 aggro. Reduces damage taken by allies by 35%, aggro generated by 60%, and increases their attack MP recovery by 15%. Recovery. Eliminates an ailment since even if we have 100% ailment resists some bosses have attacks with absolute ailment. Sanctuary. Reduces the damage received by 90% if that damage received is less than 10% of our max HP, useful for reducing damage from attacks not covered by dual shield. Heal. Heals us 3000 plus 25% of our max HP. P Defense. Reduces all damage taken to zero and gives us a small heal of 3000 HP. Ferrith, gives a stack every 3 seconds with a maximum of 5 that reduces the fractional damage received and increases the ASPD depending on the amount of VIT we have. With the 442 points in VIT that I currently have, it adds up to 2210 of ASPD. Knight Will, increases aggro by 20% and improves some skills from the Knight Skills tree. Sonic Thrust, inflicts tumble to the target. Shikuchi, to dash towards the target. Adlib, it is one of the best skills to open combos for its fast animation and low MP cost. Frenzy Dance, increases damage per touch when breaking boss parts by 20% up to a maximum of 100%. Astute Dance, reduces the enemy's dodge by 10% up to a maximum of 40%. Spirited Dance, recovers between 100 and 200 the MP of allies. Elegant Poise. We do an animation that reduces the damage received by 50%, during this animation we cannot die, if that is the case we will survive with 1 HP. If we receive an attack during this animation we will become immune for 5 seconds. Backstep. This skill is optional, I use it mostly to start battles at more than 10 meters or get out of vortex type attacks. Regretless. If you want to go as a tank to the guild raids you must have this ability. It heals 100% of the HP but it must be renewed before its time reaches zero or can kill you. These are the basic combos that I use although I change them constantly, 
I will not go into much detail since it is better that you try your own little by little and see which ones work best for you. In the weapon I use the Wind Grey Sword, it is the best for the large amount of critical rate and ASPD that it provides. For the shield I use the 7th anniversary since it has a lot of guard power and resistances. For armor I use Stellar Fighter remodeled in heavy in cases where the enemy does a lot of physical and magical damage, if it is not the case I usually use the Lovely Bunny remodeled in light prioritizing the aggro and the attack MP recovery. For the additional I use Wind Up Key only for the ASPD it provides, and I use Lucky Sushi in cases where my resistance is not enough. In the ring I use Day Sakura Charmstone for the ASPD and the cast speed it provides, in case I need more resistances I use the Dark Talisman Resist. As for the resist to element rings, I use them when the enemy inflicts a large amount of damage and I know that all or the vast majority of their attacks are from the same element, how could it be in raid bosses? In the avatars I have 20% of ailment resist. Here I would like to leave you with a list of equipment alternatives that you can use to make your build. You can use any of these alternatives if you want to follow my build but you don't have the equipment I showed above or you don't have 20% ailment resist on the avatars. These are the food buffs that I recommend with the registlets that I use. I don't usually farm registlets much so I don't have much variety.